the biggest thing that they have looming on their play right now is the Tua Tungle by Little contract, which is which is happening, right? Like you're not gonna pull any any yeah. fast one and say, actually, you know, we're gonna go trade for Dak Prescott instead or something like that, right? At least in my experience covering this team, they say what they mean or they don't say anything at all. So Chris Greer has said multiple times, like this is a contract they want to get done. They want this relationship to extend long term. He played 17 games, you know, uh, led the NFL in, in passing yards this year. It, it, it wasn't a fluke. I think he is a guy who you can definitely win football games with. The, the, the hurdle he needs to, to climb, are they winning games because of him? Are they winning games when... You know, in weather conditions, it can mean injury conditions. You know, when Tyreek was hurt, Jalen Waddle was hurt late in the year, that productivity tape off a little bit. And, uh, and so, you know, that, 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 that doubt is starting to creep in of, okay, is he good when everything is good around him or is he good, period? If you're the Dolphins and you, or, or really any team, like, you, I would say this applies to the Cowboys too. Like, you had a thought of like, okay, Maybe we don't want to hand out this big ass contract to a quarterback who we don't feel like is carrying the team. Well, you have to have a plan of what's next. Yeah, and that's pretty difficult to figure out. Uh, you, you can't just walk into the void, or or even you can't even really talk about it theoretically because you know how important quarterbacks are. And let's say you let Tua walk, and you don't really have anything on the back burner that you can go to. Okay, well, what happens to the rest of this? What happens to the entire operation? They had a poor record against good teams last year. Uh, you get get routed by the Bills in week four. They get bullied by the Eagles, and I think it was week seven, week eight. Uh, you know, they get embarrassed by the Ravens there on on New Year's Eve. Like it was just uh, the only team that he beat was the Cowboys, who is the other good team in the NFL who people said were frauds, you know, against tough opponents. So it, it's that does not bode that did not bode well for him in this offense last year uh i think there's still a lot of paper tiger allegations about this Dolphins team as a whole it's not just Tua, but uh that's a, it's a great point like you can't just say it's easy to say okay we need a new quarterback Tua is not it it's way harder to find the next it 